Now's the time where you need to pay attention because now we're going to school. Before we were having fun and being silly, now it's time to pay attention. Okay, so now we have our material all loaded up. It's time for us to find our correct cut settings for the graph tech, all right? Go ahead and pull that flock back. And nothing cut, okay. So I want y'all to see how much material. I'll tell y'all about this rhinestone stuff right here. This stuff ain't no joke, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to be amazed because we're gonna do something amazing. Guys, today we're going to be doing some rhinestones. It's gonna be fun. These are rhinestones courtesy of Heat Transport House. Right now we got our gross, our crystal 30 gross SS10. Right, you gotta get used to the rhinestone lingo. Heat transfer house rhinestones. We got a couple other colors here too, but we're only gonna be using the crystals today. And we have our Bella Canvas shirt just in time for the winter time. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. Love this thing, feels so good. Bella Canvas, shouts out to you guys for providing this shirt for me. Appreciate that. Go ahead and create your Bella Canvas accounts, wholesale accounts, guys. We also have our heat transfer house flock that we're gonna use to make our template. We have some transfer film. We have our brush for brushing in our rhinestones in place. We have our rhinestone tray. We got everything and all this stuff is available at Heat Transfer House, guys. Use my Heat Transfer House affiliate link down description below to get yours so you can do this tutorial along with me and you can do stuff like this. And I'm gonna show you intricately how this is done. Now, special shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the best uni for providing us with this template right here. As you guys can see, we got our black bear template and we are going to put it onto our Bella Canvas shirt using our Graph Tech. And guess where you can get the Graph Tech from? You guessed it right, Heat Transfer Warehouse. This is our 24 inch Graph Tech plotter. And this thing, if you like the Cameo, this thing is a beast, especially when you wanna step the game up. After you get over the learning curve, because the menu is not that user friendly, but after you get over that, it's simple to use. And the reason why I say that is because if you are an Illustrator user, you can create your design in Illustrator, SVG file, and you can print directly in to, from Illustrator directly to the uh, graph tech, all right? So let's go ahead and start setting this stuff up, shall we? All right, let's load up our graph tech cutter, let's go. All right, guys, we have our graph tech cutter right here and we're gonna set it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on. I'm gonna reach right over here on the side, on the left side of it and flick the power switch. Flick that bad boy up and use on and you'll see the screen light up and the head move of our graph tech cutter right here. Then it makes a little small little hum right there and it is all ready to, for the media to be loaded. Then I'm going to take my USB cord right here. Excuse my back, let me do it like this. My USB cord, that would've been awkward, right? So yeah. And then we're gonna take the other end of our USB cord and plug it into our computer right here. And then we're gonna load some media right here. We got our flock from Heat Transfer House. Did I say that before? All right, and then we're gonna load this thing up. Let me show you how to load this thing up. So you're looking at the back of the Graph Tech right now, and I've shown this before, but it never hurts to show it one more time. I'm gonna sit my, oh, you know what? This is too small, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up right here to handle some smaller vinyl. And then I'm going to set the, oh, it's still too small. That's okay, that's all right, that's all right. We're gonna adjust this roller. This puts your rollers down, when, and putting it down puts, it, puts the rollers up. All right, so with the rollers up, I'm just gonna insert my flock with the fuzzy part. There's a fuzzy part, and then there's a non-fuzzy part. I'm gonna put the fuzzy part from the back in to the pinch rollers right here in the front. I'm coming underneath the rollers right here. All right, and just squeeze it through right here. And once it's through, I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up along the side right here. See these little ridges right here? I'm just gonna line up whatever you're using, vinyl or whatever it is, in case this case flock, like I said, just line it up to make sure it's nice and straight. Use those lines to your advantage right there. Line it up nice and straight. The pinch rollers are sitting on it. Make sure the pinch rollers are underneath these little blue tab marks right here. You can move the pinch rollers back and forth if you need to. All right, but just make sure it's underneath. This one is underneath this one right here, right on the edge, and this one is definitely underneath this one. If this one is over here, it's not gonna work, all right? It has to be in a certain spot. It has to be pinch roller. Right and left has to be underneath the blue, no matter where the blue is, because you see there's blues. Um, 
right here, right here. But in this case, you know, you want the pinch rollers. Because if I want it to be right here, I could just move this pinch roller over and make sure it's underneath there in case you're um, uh, cutting something that's wider. But nope, I'm gonna bring it back here and place it underneath this one right here. And let's bring the camera back so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna reach in the back and we're going to raise our pinch roller lever and it's gonna put the pinch rollers down. Watch this, raise it. See how those went down? Now we're good to go. Now the next step is for us to press front edge on the selection right here. You see option number one is front edge, option number two is current position, which will leave it in this current position. And option number three is for us, is for to tell the machine to measure the whole, the whole entire sheet, which means it will suck in all the flock and measure it from top to bottom and check out the area. But we want front edge for this, so I'm gonna hit number one, front edge. Show you guys exactly what happens when I hit front edge one right there so it's measuring the front edge right there it measured and put the thing right in the front edge see how i sucked that up cameo can't do that baby yeah stop playing all right guys now's the time where you need to pay attention because now we're going to school before we we're having fun and being silly now it's time to pay attention okay so now we have our material all loaded up. It's time for us to find our correct cut settings for the graph tech, all right? This is the part that's real intricate and real special. You wanna pay attention, all right? So, so to find the right cut settings on the graph tech, even in whoever you're using, like um, heat transfer house, most times they have the right cut settings for the material, but for this flock, for some reason, they don't have the cut settings for flock. So we're gonna find the cut settings for flock, all right? So let us hit the condition test, condition test button, test, right? Because we want to test the cut. So we're going to hit that button right there. And then over here, you see the current condition that it's set at. It's set at 20 centimeters per second, 20 centimeters per second. I think I want to speed that up. And the force is, which, which is what we want to play with. It's set to 14, all right? Now, to do the actual cut, down here, you see right here, if we press this button, it's gonna do a test cut and it's gonna cut out a triangle with a square around it, right? If I press this button right here, if that makes any sense. This arrow right here, press this button right here, it's gonna do a triangle with a square. Now, if I press this button right here, it's going to do three triangles with three squares around it. The one in the middle is what, gonna be what it's set at. The one over here is gonna be one force lower and the one to the left is going to be one force higher. Complicated stuff, right? I know. All right. So I want to raise the force up a little bit. I'm going to put on a force 16. All right. Going to put on force 16. All right. So we're going to try that out. So I'm going to press four. All right. And then we're going to go up with that force. 15, 16. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to 18. 18. Now I'm going to press enter. All right, now we can do our test cut. I'm gonna go ahead and do the three test cuts. One, the center one is gonna be at the, what we have it at, which is 18. The one to the right is gonna be at 17, and the one to the left is gonna be at 19, all right? So I wanna pull back my camera real fast to show you guys what it does when I hit the arrow, which is corresponding to that dark arrow right here. Watch what happens. All right, press the button. Uh, no, all right, there we go. All right, it's doing all the cuts. See how this can, even I'm, even I'm a little thrown off. Now it spits it out so you can test the cut. All right, so let me just angle this down so you guys can see. And I'm just gonna pull up a little bit to see if it cut anything. And if it didn't cut anything, then we're gonna try another setting, all right? So right now, I'm just gonna grab the edge of this right here, our flock, and pull up. And we can see that it did not cut through the flock. Did not cut through the flock, so we're gonna increase the force a little bit, all right? Gonna increase the force a little bit. Gonna go back, lay that flock back down. Gonna increase the force, all right? Let me try to get back to where I was at. To get back to where I was at, enter key, and it goes right back to where I was at, all right? Now, um, let me condition. As a matter of fact, I'm going to exit, 
And now I see the settings again on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit the force, number four. And I'm going to go ahead and take that force up to 23 and enter because it didn't cut through at all. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and hit that arrow again so it can cut, so it can hit the cut, hit the camera. Sorry about that. All right. So let me show you guys what happens. Trying to find the cut settings here. Hit that arrow. Hit number one. All right. Boom. Right next to our first test, it hit the second test. All right. All right, so let's see what happened there. All right, grab the edge of my flock right here and pull up. Again, nothing. So I went ahead and adjusted my blade. All I did was unscrew this part and took the blade out and twisted it clockwise in order for the blade to come out a little bit more because I think I didn't have enough blade in. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust it one more time. So now that I have my settings all set and I have my blade out now I'm going to hit the test cut again. All right because the blade is out a little bit more. So let me go ahead and hit the button and let's see how it cuts this time. All right let's see what kind of cut we got. I think we got to cut this time because I can see that it scored the actual flock. All right, so let's pull the flock up. And the thing I like about this flock is you can keep on using it. All right, so yeah, we got to cut. We got to cut. All right, so that those cut settings are good. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, yeah, I think this is good for creating our template. This is perfect. Good cuts. All right, so I'm going to leave it at this force right here. It didn't score through this right here but it definitely did cut out the material and that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna manually position it with the arrows, hit enter to get it out of that mode. It wakes GraphTech up and it go ahead, goes ahead and it sucks it back in to do the next cut that's right next to this cut. But instead of that, I'm going to actually make it go down a little bit. Oh, wrong way. All right, so it can start cutting my flock rhinestone about right there, all right? So that's going to be the new edge. All right, so I'm going to hit exit, um, uh, escape, actually. And now we're good to go. Now we're good to go. Now in my software, in my Illustrator, I'm just going to go ahead and press send, and it's going to start cutting. Three. All right, here is our design right here, and we're just going to send it to cut, and I'm going to show you how. This SVG made by the best uni and sent to us. We're just going to send it to cut right now. Just go ahead over to file, select and go to cut master four and press cut plot. Now something's gonna happen. I tested this off camera while I wasn't recording. I kind of cheated a little bit. And when you send it to cut master four, you're gonna notice that you don't see a design here. You don't see anything here. What I want you guys to do is just trust the process. I'm gonna press send right here and watch what happens. It's gonna start cutting, watch this. Press send and it's gonna wake up the cutter. All right, we press send and it started cutting our design, all right? I don't know why we had the spinning wheel of death, but normally that means it's not gonna cut because uh, your computer's doing too much. But as you guys can see, our graph tech is cutting out our design, all right? That's just a computer little issue that I had right here, glitch or something. But guys, one thing you notice about the graph tech is, I'm gonna come closer to the graph tech, bring my mic a little closer. I'm literally right, uh, my face is up to it right here. If you guys can see me on the camera, see how close I am. But um, the graph tech is um, quiet, right? It's, uh, it's fast, it's uh, swift, um, swift and fast, same thing. But I could have, as fast as it's going right now, I could have made it go even faster. Um, see how smooth it is, see, see how uh, efficient it is. So imagine cutting this on a silhouette cameo or a slower cutter, right? It would take I, get, I promise you it will take a super, super long time, but look how efficient this is. Look how fast this is cutting this design out, right? All right, so this has a lot of little small circles in it, but hey, it's doing the job and it's doing it fine. One thing I want you to remember is, like I said, somebody sent me this SVG, the Best Uni. Once again, shout out to the Best Uni. You guys go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's always shouting me out. Real Recognize Real, and I appreciate her for, uh, you know, helping bring the channel more exposure and stuff. She's always giving me props and stuff. I appreciate you, Best Uni. Um, so go subscribe to her channel. She does a lot of rhinestone stuff, and um, she does a lot of bling stuff. And we'll talk about 
her channel as well as a few other channels that you guys should check out if you guys are into rhinestones also guys but right now we're getting into it and check out the speed of the graph tech check out how smooth it's cutting um i hope you guys learned a little bit about the graph tech because there's not a lot of videos i feel on youtube that show how to use the graph tech and um this machine does not get utilized enough and does not get the respect that it needs for what it can do and it is a very industrial based machine if you are ready to step your game up if you want to take your vinyl cutting to the next level if it, if it is a serious business for you I believe um, if, it, if your business solely lies around cutting vinyl and cutting things, then you should definitely have a good cutter that's like a step up from the Silhouette Cameo, a step up from the Cricut, and this is it, all right? There's only one thing that uh, I can probably say about the Graph Tech. Um, I can't say it actually, but something's coming up, guys. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I'll just give you guys a hint. Romeo, a uh, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? But we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. Coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Can't wait to show you guys. But again, look how smooth the graph tech is cutting. You can't go wrong with the graph tech. Um, and I can't honestly tell you guys where it is exactly in the cut. Uh, but I just know that it is cutting the little circles right now. And soon it's going to go right over here to the side and start cutting all the little circles, right? All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna wait for it to do that part real fast. I can't really tell you guys when it's gonna be, but you guys will see it's gonna go duh, 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 and it's gonna start cutting out that black bear. All right, so I'm trying to wait for that to come up for you guys to see. But again, look how smooth it is. What do you guys think about the smoothness? All right, right now it's cutting out the little circles in my design. All right, cutting out every little circle. And again, look how smooth it is. Look how fast it is. This is what I like about the Graph Tech other than, um, more than the rest of the cutters. This is kind of like a new toy that makes vinyl cutting fun again if you've gotten bored with it, right? Look how fast it is. If you don't like the way the Cameo sounds, how eh, eh, eh it is, you get none of that with this, all right? So yeah, I love the Graph Tech to be honest with you. But like I said, the learning curve is the, the thing is, it's not a hard cutter to use. It's just hard to understand the menu because it's kind of complicated. But once you understand it, it's actually very, very simple, stupid, silly. Right. And I'm going to make more videos on it, guys. I promise you guys I'm going to make more videos on it so that you guys understand it. It's a little bit more expensive than other cutters, but it's worth the money because it's faster, it's smoother, it's more efficient, and all those other stuff is more professional, it does more stuff. But like I said, it's more professional grade because you're using, you're cutting out an Illustrator or you're cutting out of Corel Draw and using the Cutmaster 4 plugin to get this, to talk to this, uh, to this uh, cutter, right? All right, so yeah. That's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing finish cutting out and I'll be right back, guys, talking too much. All right, so here we are at our table, guys. Um, I went ahead and I uh, put our cutting mat on here and I wanna cut this, but I don't wanna cut into our template, so I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit and see where we're gonna cut. I got my metal ruler right here and I got my uh, little puncture thing um, and I have my uh, X-Acto knife right here. So let's just start peeling this up and see where our template is. And then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna cut out the rest. I'm trying to peel this up so that the dots come out, but of course we're not gonna have an easy time with this. All the dots are staying in. So we're gonna to have to manually take these dots out. The dots are supposed to get stuck to the mat, but as you guys can see, that's not really happening. So yeah, this is gonna to be tough. All right, so, all right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I see exactly where my template is right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right about here. All right, so put this on a line right here, line this up. This is a good thing about having a cutting mat. I'm gonna line this up right here, line that up right here. Um, raise it up just a little bit. We don't wanna waste any flock. And the good thing I like about having um, a, uh, the good thing I like about having a cutter 
Guys, I think I, I see something right here. I think I think we cut this backwards. I think we, we should have flipped it, and we didn't flip it, but I'm about, oh, no, 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 we're good to go, because when we pick it up, and then we, no, no, I think we did, we didn't, we were supposed to flip this when we cut it. I think I gotta cut this again. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be this way, but it's backwards this way, so I gotta cut it again, guys. I gotta flip it when I send it to cut, so. Let me go do that real fast. I'll be right back. Y'all wanna see something crazy? I flipped it, and for some reason when I flipped it, the design appeared. I'm gonna flip it back. It's gone. When I flip it again, the design appears. Wow, this is so interesting. Interesting, fun fact. All right, so let's send it to cut again. All right, guys, I think we got this figured out now. We got it cut, and I can actually see where the black bear is, but I'm just gonna be precaution cautionary anyway, and I'm just gonna go ahead and Pull this up like this, all right, the same way we're supposed to do it properly. And yep, this is coming off a little bit better. Still not coming off as much as I'd like it to, but that's okay. Okay, it, it is a lot better, but we're still gonna have to, we're still gonna have to get a lot of these dots out. All right guys, so if nobody ever tell you that I'm gonna tell you now, when doing flock, Templates the right cut settings are the most important. This is like my third attempt at this guys um, So so very important. Let's see how this comes out. I Just want to get this off. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is terrible All right, y'all the struggle is real. I want y'all to see how much material I wasted right here Just trying to get this right. All right, so the struggle is real, but guess what? I got it done I'm just gonna look over this real fast, real good, and we got everything out right correctly. Let me just clean up my hands and we're just gonna move forward with this project, all right? All right, so we got our design, guys, and to be honest with you, it's kinda too big for this tray that we have here. As a matter of fact, it's not gonna work at all for this tray, so yeah, this tray is, yeah, already we're starting off bad here. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this down on here. Stick it down. And I'm gonna grab some of our rhinestones here and you guys can't hear me because my microphone died. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I got the right ones. Crystals, yep. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them out right here. Just a few of them. And I'm gonna do whatever I see everybody else doing, which is just go like this and lay them out. And it's laying out pretty easy. This part is easy, thank God. Gosh, we need a break. All right, so yeah, this part is pretty easy. I like this part right here, brushing the stones in. Oh yeah, this is cool, this is all right with me. Man, listen y'all, I finally got all these rhinestones in, but let me tell y'all about this rhinestone stuff right here. This stuff ain't no joke, guys. This is not to be played with. I'm gonna, don't even touch it once you get it to this point. I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out with my hands right here. I'm gonna take it off the side and cut it with some scissors. This rhinestone stuff is not to be played with. It's not a game. It is very, very serious. It's very, very tedious. Um, I don't think this is for me. It's not, I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm gonna try to figure it out to make it easier for myself, but as of right now, this ain't it for me, all right? Don't touch it once you get it like this, because if you do, <laughs> that's it. So I'm gonna take off my tape and I'm just gonna drop it on here. All right, I'm gonna take it like this, and I think I'm doing it right. I'm just gonna drop it on there like that, and I think you're good, all right? You're gonna be good now, all right? So I'm just gonna drop it on there like that, and we're pretty much good. I know when I bring it up, we're gonna have the all the diamonds because the, this thing right here, this transfer film is really, really sticky. All right, so let me just bring it up, and let's see if these diamonds stick. Let's see if any of them don't stick. If they don't stick. Boy, you talking about mad? Look, 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 look at that. What of them stay down. Look at that. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. What is going on here? This is bananas. Yo, this stuff is no joke, guys. This stuff is no joke. Respect all the people online to do rhinestones because this stuff is not a game, all right? Let me take it up carefully. Take it up nice and carefully. 
All right, so far we got everything almost to the end. All right, we're gonna transfer this right away. I don't even know, I don't even know the temperature, but we're gonna put this down right away. All right, let me show y'all what we got. All right, so we got it, we got it. Sorry guys, I can't show it to y'all intricately, but I wanna get this transferred on because sheesh, this was tedious. I'm gonna flip it around like this. All right, we got it. All right, let's take it over to the heat press. We got our heat press all heated up and we're gonna go ahead and press our Bella Canvas shirt one time to get all the wrinkles out. Get all the wrinkles out. Make sure I got this lined up perfectly for you guys. All right, here we go. Put that in and just press it one time. Our table surface is just wobbly. All right, all right, so there we go. And we got our heat press set to 330 degrees for 15 seconds is how long we're gonna press these uh, stones. Use my heat transfer house link if you wanna get in on any of this action, guys. It's, it's, it's pretty wild, I'll tell you. All right, so let me go ahead and get my template and we're gonna lay it down. And um, we gotta make sure we lay this thing down good because we don't. We only got one shot, I think, because I don't want it to start sticking to the shirt, you know what I mean, and, and we don't have it in the right position. So I'm gonna carefully place it down. Let me go grab it. All right, so right now I'm just hovering with it. I'm just gonna hover, 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 hover until I'm pretty sure it's in the spot that I want it to be. I'm gonna imagine my four fingers down and I'm just gonna go ahead and, yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right right there for me. And I'm just gonna place it down. All right, there we go. Just like that. This is bananas, guys. All right, yeah, I mean, that looks good. That looks good. I think it's over to this side a little bit too much. So let me just test this out for you guys. All right, it's not that bad when it comes to moving it. It's not that bad, it comes up. All right, so it's not too bad. All right, so let me just go ahead and play with that again. Right here, got that black bear on there. All right, so it's not bad at all. Four fingers down, all right, we eyeballed that. Yeah, we looking good, all right? So we go ahead and press, press that for, uh, like I said, 330, my heat press right now is on 336, 15 seconds, that's okay. We'll just leave it like that, don't got enough time for all that. So I'm just gonna press it with this on. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to leave this on or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and press it with this on right here and see what happens. 15 second press. Fifteen second press. Four, three, two. Not sure if it's a hot peel or a cold peel, but I'm banking it's a hot peel. So, yeah. All right, we looking good. All the stones came off. All right, and we got our first bling shirts, and it's looking good. As the ladies say, guys, it's bussing. It's bussing. Now this color shirt right here, it's like a charcoal color shirt. Uh, the rhinestones are hot. Um, I don't know if I should press it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and press it again for my own sanity. You know what I mean? I don't know if people do that or not, but I'm gonna press it again for a few more seconds. You know what I mean? Put that protective layer on there. Go ahead, hit it off one time for your mind. Just for a few seconds. Little, little, little five second press. All right, we good to go. And there we go. We got it set in nice and good and we looking good. All right, let's put this thing on and let's see how it looks. Final verdict. Honestly, I love the shirt. I love it a lot. Um, this black bear is huge. This thing is huge. I didn't know it was this big. That tells you why this little tiny tray wouldn't work. Was it worth all the effort? I think so. I think it was worth all the effort because this is something unique right you can get your own logo on here um and again this is my very very first time doing it so um i just showed you my struggles and i think that i'm definitely going to try it again a few more times i definitely got to get the get the settings dialed in on the graph text so that you could just pull up the uh flock and it comes up with 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 ease but as of right now with my first experience my first time doing this 
This is not something that I would do. Say if somebody ordered 10 shirts, somebody ordered 10 shirts, brushing in those little stones was very, very tedious just to do one. Um, other people do it. They do it easily. They do it faster. But me, as of right now, this ain't it. It's too time consuming to me, right? But um, do I like the look? Yes. Great for one-offs. Great for something that if you want to be unique. Um, it looks good. My placement is good. But again, my design is huge. This design right here is super, super huge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're interested in getting into the rhinestone game, Heat Transfer Warehouse has these rhinestones for you. Has the tools that you need. Has the flock. And I'll make some more videos on it, you know what I mean, and, and, and get this the settings down packed. But this was just a video to demonstrate Heat Transfer Warehouse's stones as well as their flock, as well as their transfer tape. Transfer tape worked flawlessly. Um, the brushing in with this little thing, I was told that with the bigger brush, it's easier. I don't know, but you know, like I said, we're gonna come back again and we're gonna adjust the cut settings and gonna adjust it to make sure that the, um, that the uh, flock gets penetrated all the way through. I think that's what it is. I think gotta um, put some more pressure on the graph tech Maybe um, open up my, bring down my needle a little bit more so it cuts all the way through. But you want to cut all the way through those dots so you don't have a problem. And I think that's where we ran into the biggest problem is cutting that flock. And again, it's my first time cutting that material, period. So when it's your first time cutting a new material, you're going to run into these problems, guys. So I just want to show you guys a real life scenario and you guys will see where I'm at right now. You see where I'm at right now and we'll see what happens as I play along, play around with the stuff a little bit more. But right now, the end results, I'm, I'm telling you, I think the end results um, came out like it wasn't my first shirt. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Use my Heat Transfer Warehouse affiliate link down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Best Unis um, YouTube channel. Hit, hit, hit this up with this dope uh, template right here. Gave me a little bit of troubles, but, you know, like I said, I'm new. Talk to you guys on the next video. It's your boy, Alan Wade, and I'm out. Peace. It up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?